When people appear on the news because of an active felony case, usually it's not someone wearing a police uniform out doing police things in the police unit. What happens, though, when a town hires a police officer out on bond? As a Logland cop, she has a badge and a gun. She also has a mugshot and five felony charges for theft. As Log Lane Officer Don Flassar remains under investigation for stealing more than $30,000 in VIN inspection fees. I don't have any comments. You don't have any comments? No. Okay. Her pending felony charges do not affect her state certification to be a police officer. Right now, the post board's hands are tied. Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock is the vice chairman of Colorado's post board. It's the agency that approves every cop in Colorado with peace officer standards training certificates. Officers need active post certificates to show they're in good standing with training and a clean background. Post board doesn't have any uh, teeth. They don't have the ability to, to intervene. Even if a complaint was made, uh, they wouldn't be able to do anything. Spurlock yeah. says it would take an act of Colorado's legislature to give Post the power to suspend someone's certification while they face felony charges. Post board should have the ability to at least suspend that person so that person is not acting as a peace officer in the state of Colorado, with potentially jeopardizing other criminal justice systems in place. If I was a small town, I think I would wait until that case is over before hiring someone. Stacy Hervey is a professor of criminal justice at Metro State University and a former police officer. She says criminal cases handled by Don Flassar could be in jeopardy because she could end up a felon herself if convicted. It's disturbing because it sets that department up for some liability, for sure. A records request with Log Lane reveals Officer Flissar has given out 22 tickets for things like speeding, damage to private property, and animal issues. She's enforcing the law, while other law enforcement officers consider her a criminal suspect. But that might be something that Post does want to look at, what happens during that interim period. Log Lane's mayor and other town officials have refused to return our phone calls and emails about this issue. We've reached out to local lawmakers who have worked on police accountability bills in the past. Still no word from them either on this matter. To be clear, though, Flissar is innocent until proven guilty. Her felony trial is scheduled for February. Steve Becker. It's relatively astonishing, Jeremy. Uh, the, my question is, like, can Post suspend anyone's license? Yeah, it happens quite frequently. They have the power to suspend someone's license if they don't have up to date training. But right now there's no rules on what on what says what should happen if an officer is facing pendy felony charges. Steve, stay on top of this. We're yeah. all interested. Jeremy Hohola, thank you. Mm -hmm.